I'm going to invite Miss Patty up to the platform. Will you help me welcome Patty to the platform this morning? Okay. Hello. Hi. Welcome. It's so great to have you up here with me. This, you're a scary group of people. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. So this is, this is Patty. Patty is a, a sweet part of our family, and uh, she's going to share some of what God's been doing in her um, over this last season and, and through the fast as well. But um, I am... I'll say something more about this at the end of our of our moment, but I'm just so thankful for how God is bringing uh, people from different seasons, generations, and walks of life to be a part of our church family here. And uh, I want to honor you and say thank you for your pursuit, because uh, and there's been a few of you in this room that would you you'll resonate with this, but she has pursued, you know, from the get go. I need to talk to you. I need to figure out, you know is this where God's calling me to be? And I need to kind of know our hearts resonating. And, and so if you, you could have very easily just been like, you know, I don't know, you know, I'll sit back and watch or, you know, I'll make my judgments or my assessments about that pastor or, uh, <laughs> just kidding. Uh, or just this place. And, and rather than just make your judgments, you've investigated and pursued, but from a heart of like, God, what are you doing? What are you maybe saying? And so, Will you share a little bit with it? Will you introduce yourself, who you are, but then share a little bit of what God's been okay. doing? Patty Pike. Patty Pike. I'll bring it a little I've closer. I've been Patty Pike for 58 years. Um, when, uh, when Chase asked me to share, my first response, which I didn't speak out loud, was um, censored. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, like, no. No uh, way. But then the Spirit spoke to my heart and said, how can you deny? How can you, sorry, I'm a crier. How can you deny what God has done in your life? So I couldn't, I can't deny. Six months ago, I was in a very dark place, uh, alone, um, my husband of 50 years had passed away in 2014. My kids were grown. They didn't need me. I didn't have friends. And I didn't feel wanted. And so I just asked the Lord, just take me home. I'm ready. Just take me home. And I actually pleaded with him to take me home. But apparently that wasn't his plan. So then I negotiated I said, well, if you're not going to take me home, give me a purpose. Give me a purpose for being here. I can't just exist. And he spoke to my heart uh, a message that he'd given me about two years ago, and that was prayer. That's your purpose, prayer. Well, I really didn't take it too seriously two years ago. Uh, okay, yeah, well, everybody can do that. So... I thought, okay, I'm hearing that again. And then on the same day, I met Marion and Pastor Chase. Now talk about a double whammy. <laughs> you can't deny these two. And so they told me about living water, they see. And um, I don't like going places by myself, but I had to go. I had to come here. And God has given me two things since I've come here, things I didn't expect. He's given me joy. It's been a long time since I've had joy, long, long time since I've had joy. And so every Sunday morning when we're praying and when we're singing, I cry all the way through worship service. I cry in joy. It's not tears of regret or remorse. It's pure joy. I, I love what God has given me at this church. 
And the other thing that he's given me is a passion for prayer. Did you know that before you even walked in these doors, people have been in this sanctuary praying for you? They're praying over the seats that you're sitting in. I've never been to a church that did that. So God has given me a passion for prayer. And I am so overwhelmed sometimes with the privilege of prayer. I say to him, how is it? How is it you can use me in such a simple way to impact other people's lives? Mm -hmm. But I know he is. Mm -hmm. And I can do it in silence. You don't know what I'm praying for, but the Spirit knows. Mm -hmm. I'm so grateful for that. So this church has turned my life. I said, I told Jeanette that it turned my life upside down. No, she says, no, right side up. <laughs> That's true, right side up. Mm. I am happier now than I've been, and I can't tell you how long. Mm. And the, the uh, fasting and prayer is like, that was really unattractive. Sorry. <laughs> uh, but I want to be part of the body here, and I want to do what the Lord wants me to do. So, okay. I, I'm from Missouri. I'm stubborn. And um, also born in May, so I'm a bull. Um, so, but anyway, I said, okay. The fasting and prayer is, was a surprise. I found myself focused focus first of all on the word of God and I had not done that consistently for a very long time and I fell in love with the word of God I fell in love with Jesus and every morning when I get up and I turn my phone on I turn on worship music and I sing the whole day sing worship music and he's given me a passion for prayer. And I realize what a privilege it is to yeah. pray. Yeah. Uh, so I've gotten joy and I've gotten purpose. Yeah. And who could ask for anything more? Come on. Praise the Lord. <laughs> will, you, uh, will you pray over our, our, our people, our family? Just to wrap up, oh, you really put to wrap up to the me. moment. <laughs> and you're, I've already got you up here. You know, this is perfect. <laughs> okay. Father, we come to you because you love us. That's first and foremost. We're not worthy, but we know who you are. You are omnipotent. You are all powerful. There is none more powerful than you. No one can can defeat you. That's the God that we worship. Yeah. You are omniscient. There is no surprises for you, Lord. There's no mysteries. You know all there is to know about us and our world. And you are omnipresent. You're always with us. You're always with us. Father God, I thank you for the privilege of being part of this body. And I know that you're going to do great things here because that's who you are. Yeah. That's your desire. That's your heart. And I thank you. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Will you help me thank Patty one more time? <laughs> <laughs>